Let's learn to design a 3D printable enclosure for this e-paper display module. First import your module or PCB step file in Autodesk Fusion. Then start a new design and insert the imported step file as an external reference file. Here it's better to keep it symmetrical with respect to origin. Now close the data panel and save this drawing with a new name. Now activate the offset plane tool from the construct panel and select one of the highest face and create a new plane 2mm offset. You can also select some higher values based on your 3D printer tolerance. Next activate the create a sketch tool from the create panel and select the newly created plane. Here activate the project tool from the create panel and select only the outer geometries of the PCB module and click OK. Now hide the PCB module to see the projected sketches, select all the sketches and convert them as a construction line type. Next activate rectangle tool and create rectangle. Now using the coincident constraint tool fix the rectangle to cover all the projected profiles. Now activate the offset tool and offset this rectangle by 2.6 mm, click on the finish sketch and go to the home view, turn on the PCB module. Activate the extrude tool and select all the closed profile and extrude it towards the other end of the module with some additional value of 2 mm from the end face. So now this module is fully enclosed within the solid body. Please do follow our page and save this video for future references. Next activate the cell tool from the modify panel and select the full body from the design tree and specify the cell thickness of 1.6 mm. Now go to the modify panel again and activate the split body tool. Select the main solid body from the design tree under the body to split option and under the splitting tool select the bottom face of the PCB panel. Now you will notice your body just got splitted into two separate bodies also it's hollowed out by a wall thickness of 1.6 mm. Now is the time to create opening for connectors and displays. Activate the sketch tool and select the body outer face towards the display to create new sketch. Hide the body and activate the project tool to project outer profiles of the display. Use the offset tool to create the offset profile 0.4 mm towards outward. Click finish the sketch. Now turn on the body and activate the extrude tool to make a cutout for the display. Apply chamfer of 0.8 mm at the edges of the display cutout for better view angle. Now let's make opening for the connectors similarly. Here is the opening from where you can assess the connectors. Now is the time to make holes on the back side of enclosure to mount the PCB on it using the same process. Only important thing to notice here is the screw hole size. Also apply some chamfer around the screw holes. Let's apply some fillet on the corners to make it look better. It's always important to avoid sharp edges for your design. If you have watched this complete enclosure design carefully, accidentally we forget to add an arrangement to mount top of the enclosure with the bottom body. So let's comment below what is the best method to do this, snap fit or screw based. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.